Interventions with a King. Discussion and commentary based on articles from Jack, Cardiovascular Interventions. Hi, I'm Walter Mashman from Jack, Cardiovascular Interventions. I'm here today with Professor Holgar Thiele from the University of Leipzig in Germany, and we're going to discuss a paper um, that they've published in our journal. Professor, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the invitation. Um, tell us, please, what we know about facilitated PCI uh, before your paper. So before our paper, which we are um, now able to publish in Jack Intervention, we knew that um, facilitated PCI um, had worse outcome, in particular in the SN4 PCI trial. And there were also some, um, the, other, the, other trial, the, the other major trial was the Finesse trial, which also showed no superiority of um, facilitated PCI versus primary PCI. Nevertheless, there were some subgroups of patients in SN4 PCI and also in the Finesse trial, which might have benefited from um, the facilitated PCI approach, particular um, patients with high risk, ST elevation myocardial infarction, and also patients presenting very early after symptom onset. You have a very sophisticated network for emergency transfer. And um, in your study, you looked at STEMI in patients who presented within three hours. Um, talk to me, please, about the use of antiplatelet therapy and uh, 2B3A agents in your trial and, and, and what we learned. This is also a very important point, which was different from the previous trials before, which um, look for facilitated PCI. In our trial, all patients were preloaded with clopidogrel, um, which was different, for example, for the SN, um, in comparison to the SN4 PCI trial, and also different in comparison to the Finesse trial. And then we also allowed in those patients undergoing facilitated PCI and also in those patients in the primary PCI group that they could get um, glycoprotein to be 3 a um, receptor inhibitors. This was um, allowed in our trial. And, and tell me, uh, describe the endpoints. You used uh, cardiac MRI to yes. measure infarct size. That's um, absolutely correct. And, um, and tell me what we, what we learned. Yes, um, so we used as a surrogate endpoint, we, we looked for the infarct size, which we measured by cardiac MRI, which we believe is the most or the best imaging method to um, measure the infarct size. And also we can measure several other things like myocardial salvage and microvascular obstruction, where we know that microvascular obstruction has prognostic impact for the patients. So what we look for in our trial if the infarct size could be reduced by the facilitated PCI pr approach. However, we did not find a benefit. We even found a trend towards higher infarct size and also a trend towards uh, more microvascular obstruction in those patients getting facilitated PCI in comparison to those patients getting primary PCI. Um, and. Uh, so not too surprising, we, we might have expected this, but, uh, but interesting and very important, uh, particularly with a very sophisticated network of transfer. Is this the final nail in the coffin of facilitated PCI, or in whom might it still be um, an option? So I think in our network, because our ne network was better than we anticipated before, bec um, because our transfer times were extremely short, even um, although the transfer um, distances were up to 70 kilometers um, or kilometer, kilometers. So we, nevertheless, the transfer times were extremely short. And within this network, the facilitated PCI approach d does not work. That's the reason why we um, took the thrombolysis um, drugs from the mobile intensive care units. And nevertheless, I still believe that there might be some room for the facilitated um, PCI approach those networks where the transfer times are much longer. Sure. Yeah. Terrific. Well, I think it's critically important that the operators understand the networks uh, available to them and the times for transfer and emergency uh, STEMI. And uh, this is a very important study, and I appreciate you being here with us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.